hey, let's face it. This is not our parents' marriage. This is not the marriage your mama had, your, your grandparents mad, if you even had the luxury of your parents, grandparents being married, right? And so we have to talk about this world has changed. Do you need a midlife marriage tune-up? So if you've been married 10 years, 20 years, 30 years plus, and you say, I need a midlife marriage tune-up, we need to talk so that we can avoid this thing called gray divorce, meaning we're getting married with gray hairs in, in, in you know, and, and it's a lot, lot to make up. We're supposed to be retiring. We have to start all over with seven. Or if you're just in a relationship right now, you're saying, Doc, I have been married 10, 20, 30 years. may not even be married, but I know we need to tune up because things are not working. I want you to tune in. I'm going to give you six questions, six questions to ask to tune up your own marriage, to evaluate where you are. It's like the mechanic that's coming in and doing a service request at 40, 50,000 50, miles. I'm going to give you six questions to ask your spouse. I want, I want you to call your better half. Uh, and said, babe, let's go over these six questions so that we could be good. Now, this is being brought to you by a weekendforlove.com. We're having a marriage retreat in November in Cabo. Make sure you go to a weekendforlove.com right now because what we're getting ready to do, you're getting ready to do on a higher level to transform from where you are right now into an amazing marriage that makes you feel good, be on the same page with love, money finances and intimacy and building legacies. So let's dive in. Check out a weekend for love.com. So question number one, uh, what's our next chapter? All right. We've been together for some time, right? Look at my hair, y'all. Uh, we, what's our next chapter, right? Like what, are, where are we going? I know we're sharing space. I know we're sharing time, but what's our next chapter for our marriage? Like, what do you focus on? What am I focusing on? And what are we focusing on? Are we going towards more balance? Are we building wealth? Are we preparing to take care of parents? Are we going to spend more time? Do we need to go back to the beginning where we had date nights and spent quality time before we had the house, the cars, the businesses, the kids' activities that keep you away from sports, taking care of mom and dad from both sides? Do we need to go? What's our next chapter? All right. Number two. All right. Um, and, and let's, let's a little bit. We need to talk about the next chapter so that we have the same vision. Without a vision, the people perish, but with a vision, people flourish. Number two, what are we modeling for our children? If our children are watching our marriage, what are they watching? What are we modeling? Are, are, are we modeling affection? Are we modeling high conflict? Uh, even our adult children, what are they doing in looking back at marriage? Because believe it or not, children are deciding whether or not they want to get married based on the marriage that they saw. Right. Does this mean that the woman does everything? She cooks and cleans and earns a living. The woman does nothing and the dad is stressed out. The husband is stressed out. Is, is, is the husband loving, affectionate? Is he soft? Is he kind? Is there a mix? Do they have business meetings? Do they go to church together? What does it mean? Right. So just, what are what are we modeling for our children? Number three. This is an accountability check right here. How do I contribute to our problems? How do I contribute to our problems? I know right now I work entirely too much and I need to have verticals. I need to work on one thing, have that thing popping, and then go on to the next thing, have that thing popping. But the way my brain works, I want to have three things popping at the same time. All right. But when I'm over capacity, it leaves little time for me to have to give to three kids and a wife and a brother and parents who are all number one on my list above work and legacy. You feel me? So to be open, like how do I contribute to our problems? What? How does that play out in our marriage? How does that play out with parenting? How does that play out with the culture and the vibe and the temperature in the household? Like how many of you would like your partner just to be real? And, and But if you start with you, right? You can avoid the defensiveness because each one of you say, well, here's how I contribute to the problems in our, in our marriage so we can adjust it. Number four, what skills have we developed? Like, let's let's do strength-based as well. Like, you know, when we first started, we, we, we couldn't argue without fighting. Now we can have a disagreement and agree to disagree and come back to it. Uh, we, we never used to share finances. Now we have a shared account so I can see what you're doing and I'm doing. We have business meetings to make sure that we're on the same page so that we're in the fi same financial uh, headspace. Face, all right. Congratulations to you couples doing it. Number five, is this relationship worth it? Is this marriage even worth it anymore? Like, are we losing years off of our life because we're arguing? Are, are, is this hurting more than it's helping? Would we be better off? Would my life be better without you? 
Would I not have an ulcer? Would I not? Would I be able to get a, a word in edgewise with another partner? I'm just keeping it real. Is our relationship worth it anymore? And if not, should we make the necessary changes to either go our separate ways or change it to where our relationship is now worth it, not only for me, but for you and for us? And then number six, should we seek outside help? Right. Is this the time? Have we come to a point where we're saying, hey, plans fail for lack of counsel? But with a multitude of counselors, plans succeed. A multitude of advisors, right? People who are successful have a multitude of advisors. They have a financial planner, an insurance person. They have estate planning. They have attorneys. They they have um, uh, health and wellness coaches. Y'all get what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, you know, real estate advisors, right? Because you're really important. You should have wise counsel. Does your marriage, does your relationship need outside counsel to be able to elevate to the next level of greatness or just to get out of the mess, y'all, right? And remember, if you're looking for an experience, I want you to check out a weekend for love dot com coming up in November. We have a few slides left for, 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 for couples, uh, who are married or engaged and want to take their marriage to the next level and know, hey, uh, with this world, we need to make some some rapid adjustments and we need to do it now because we're not we're not divorcing for nobody. But we're not staying in something toxic or something that doesn't feel good. Right. Or if you have dreams, you're one of those top five, 10 percent couples. That's like, look, we're trying to stay above the mess. We too busy trying to have legacy. We still trying to add a wing to the house. We trying to have legacy for our kids, kids, kids. We trying to be on the same page because the, the, the divorce would hurt us financially, emotionally, legacy wise. Come on now, can church, church say amen? So listen, pull your sweetheart up. I want y'all to send me emails. Let me know how this worked out for you, right? Let me know uh, if, if this was beneficial. I don't care if 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 you are in high school watching this. These are great questions, except for the you know children. You can kind of talk about what your what your what your parents are modeling for you. But if you're in high school, middle school, college watching this, and you be like, look, I, relationships are savage on all level. Uh, levels, but for those of you who are married, you veterans, and relationships, and, and in between, let's go ahead and knock these six questions out, and let's tune up so that you can be a well-oiled machine when it comes to your marriage and your love life, because it matters to your head and your heart. I'm Dr. Tart. Take care. God bless.